Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the scale of an object uh, from a C-sharp script, which I was kind of wondering um, how to do it myself. So I looked into it <coughs> with position. You use a vector 3 to set it. With, um, with rotation, you use quaternion, Euler angles. Um, however, what do you use with scale? So, we'll, um, we'll make a script called set scale. Hopefully that's not a function or anything that already exists. Because we've already been through that problem before. We'll throw it on the cube so we can watch it from the scene. Um, I'll just do something simple to test this out. So if input get key down, and we'll use T for this one because we haven't used that key yet. And then I believe it's transform that's local scale right so I don't know what lossy scale is but local scale that's the only way you can do it equals and I believe it's just like player position you type in new vector 3 and then it's your x y and z so Oh my gosh. So, currently our x, y, and z are all going to be equal to 1. If you set them to 0, the object should become invisible since, well, you know what, if you, for example, set it to 0 on y, but it was still uh, greater than 0 on x and z, you would still see it in Unity, but in real life, nothing can be infinitely thin. So, we'll set X equal to... Uh, we're going to set Y to 1 permanently. X, to test this out, we'll say random.range. And we'll do 0.2F. Um, I forgot we were in a different function. I got confused there. 2 5.0f. So it could be as big as 5 and it could be as small as 0.2. Uh, I believe with random.range though, if you're using an integer and you set it to like 1 and 5, it only goes from 1 to 4. Uh, I don't know about when you use floats. There's only one way to find out. Random. I don't think it could ever be equal to 5. Dot range. We'll do the same thing. Cool. So that's set. There's no errors there. Uh, I don't. I don't know if we dropped it on the cube already. I think we did. On the cube. Oh, I locked this for the last video. So set scale. Yeah. No errors. So let's try it out. So do we use the letter T? Um, we don't need a player. I'm just gonna run over here, get out of the way. Then in the scene, oh, we have to have the game up. Whoops, I'll set it here. So we're still playing here, but you press key. Look at that, change size, it got bigger, smaller. It's literally just a vector three. Which, this is kind of cool actually. This is really fun. Just to see what it does. I'm just slamming this key down. And just for fun, I think I'll set it input to input.getKey. Just to see what it does when it spazzes out. So, press play. Alright. Now we press T. Oh my gosh! So you never know. You never know what you're gonna get. 
That's so weird. It's really cool though. Anyway, that's how you do it. I got a pretty small one there, didn't I? You can probably see here. Look at that. Editor can't even keep up. I figured it'd go uh, maybe one decimal place since I said 0 0.2. I thought that's as far as it would go, but apparently not. Anyway, that's the tutorial. See you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.